Hey y'all, it's your favorite on. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to Nightcap YouTube channel so you never miss a single live stream or video of myself, Ocho, and Gil. Remember, Nightcap doesn't happen without you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you. On Tuesday, Ocho, we learned that Aaron Rodgers was not in attendance at Jared Mandatory Minicap. Uh oh. Which head coach? Hold up. Which head coach Robert Sala labeled as unexcused? Today we learned he'll be skipping the top, the team's entire minicamp because he prefers to be somewhere else away from football. That's the reason that was reported by Diana Rossini, who added that the quarterback's choice to not show up. It was the quarterback's choice not to show up. Aaron, I thought we were going to focus on football this season. That's what he said. Yeah. We're going to leave all that other stuff right. right. Hey, hey. I want to focus on football. Right. I want everybody to focus on football. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I mean, that, that, listen, that's that's what he said. That's what he said. And listen, this is what I'm talking about. This, this is what I'm talking about. You wonder why, and we want to blame Zach Wilson for the goddamn problems and issues with the goddamn Jets. I'm not saying this has any inclination on why they haven't been successful in the previous years, but this is just a small example. I feel bad for Garrett Wilson. I feel bad for Garrett Wilson because – your starting quarterback, your leader, and choosing to skip mandatory minicamp for whatever reason there may be. It might be some. There ain't no reason. It, it might be You're, some. some oh, Joe, unless there's death in the family. Yeah. Unless there's a, a, there, unless there's a loved one that you there's no excuse. Hey, it, it, this is what you do. Oh, Joe, how do you get to say, you know what, this is what I do? And in the, one of the most, because like I said, a lot of these guys need time. They need to work with. It. Right. He said, this is what Aaron Rodgers said on what the Jets can learn from the 2023 season. That bleat that has nothing to do with winning needs to get out the building. Now, I want y'all to tell me all y'all just all y'all Shannon, you hating on Aaron Rodgers, right. blah, blah, blah. What is him show, not showing up? How does that help y'all win? And you know what? You know what I would I, I would think knowing him, knowing what he would counter with. He would say, you know what? Minicamp doesn't justify anything that has to do with winning in the regular season. I, 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 I'm just, just knowing him. But listen, you can't do this, Aaron. You, you, you can't do this to your new team, to your new teammates. You can't do this to Salah. You can't do this to the Jets fans. You can't do this to the city of New York. Like, if you're going to be in, be all the way in. We know what? You know, there are certain people that can do this and get away with it, and certain people would never – Never abuse the power that they know they have at their hand. This is someone that knows what he can get away with and, and do it. He knows what he can get away with and he can do it. Name another player in the NFL right now that can pull this shit. Excuse my language. Now y'all see why Green Bay took Jordan Love. Name the best. If you don't care for Ocho, my grandfather used to say, boy, if you're not careful, you'll become the very thing you despise the most in a person. What did Brett Favre do? That's why they selected Aaron Rodgers, Rodgers because yeah. they got tired of Brett Favre yeah. doing this bull jive. Yeah. That's the very reason they selected Jordan Love because mm -hmm. they got fed up with his bull jive. Yeah. And even as great as he was, he won, what, two MVPs in the last three years. And they say, you know what? We're going to select the quarterback. The guy won an MVP and they took a quarterback. Yeah. They tolerate you for a long time until they can replace you. Let that... I want fans, I want y'all to understand what I just said. He won the MVP and they took a quarterback in the first round. Still. Not the third, not the fourth, not the fifth, not the sixth. First. A first rounder. That's that's literally, that's that is literally the epitome of being fed up. The epitome of being fed up. You know what? Okay, that's enough. Because if you if, if you don't get rid of them at a certain point then that thorn in your side only gets bigger and bigger. I want y'all to gets, apologize it gets, it gets, to Shea. It gets, it gets bigger I need y'all to apologize to Shea. Hold on, Ocho. I want y'all to apologize to Shea. Because I tried to tell you, and you know you want to say it's hate. See? Oh, but look here. I'm telling you. I tried to tell him. I tr I've been trying to tell y'all for a decade. You didn't want to listen to me. You're getting mad at me because here's the thing, Ocho. Anything I say, oh, Unc, hate Aaron Rodgers. Nah. I just tell you, behavior. Unc was pretty good in the locker room. Unc can read a locker room. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I went to do an interview and I talked to the receiver, and I ain't going to say no name, but I know what was told to old shape. Yeah. And when I went back and said it on TV, everybody tried to shut me down. Yeah. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. 
I told y'all he's always been about Aaron Rodgers. He ain't never been about the team. That's why they don't win. It's mm -hmm. all about him. Y'all yeah. make it seem like, look at the talent that man had. Yeah. Greg Jennings, Jordy Nelson, mm -hmm. Donald Drop. Look at the receiver, James Jones. Look at the running back. Oh, he ain't had bull jive. I want y'all to apologize. And y'all know I'm telling you the truth. Y'all know I'm telling you the truth. Yeah. I tell y'all, if I tell you grass will turn to cheese, quit your job. Start <laughs> hustling crackers. It's better hey, than Bitcoin. Listen, I wonder, I wonder what I wonder what his excuse is going to be when he does come back. I mean, I wonder one. what I wonder but, what, the, what what is the reasoning going to be? What do you what do you sit there? What do you tell your teammates in general? You know, as the as the leader of that team. Based on the direction you went in last year, based on the things you said last year about what needs to be out, out the door and what needs to be in, and then you pull something like this. He ain't never bought in. He ain't never bought in. I don't know. He's man. selfish. He's, know, he's, he's a condescending, aloof. There are a lot of other things I could say, but y'all yeah. know I was right. I just been telling y'all this for the longest. Yeah. But y'all didn't want to hear me because see what you do. If somebody says something about somebody that you don't like, that you like, you get mad and y'all call him a hater and yeah. you say he's jealous. Yeah. But I'm good with my career because all the seventh round draft pick could get out of his God-given ability was three Super Bowls, a gold jacket, and all the tight end records. That's all the seventh rounder could get out of his God-given ability. Mm. That's all God wanted me to have. I ain't begrudging nobody. But I know that dude. I can read him. And I've been telling y'all that. And y'all know I see a lot of 100% going up on that thing. You right, um, you right, you said it. You've been trying to tell him, but nah, y'all didn't want to hear because y'all like him. And I don't dislike him. Yeah. I think he's a phenomenal I like player. Him. I yeah. think he's a top five quarterback. Mm -hmm. as, as far as just ability to spin the football, there ain't three guys better that could ever spin the football uh -uh. like him. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. But boy. Yeah, that, 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 and you know, I, you know, I, you know how I am, boy. Unc, I be taking up all, I take up every goddamn body, boy. And sometimes I even, I, I bend my, I bend myself over to find an excuse for him, but I can't even find no fucking excuse, man. This don't make, no. this don't make no sense. And it, what, 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 what bothers me is we talk about mini camp. And I'm thinking about the receivers. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the receivers. I'm thinking about Gary Wilson. He's thinking I, about Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, that, that's, that's the problem. I'm going, I got Gary Wilson, 1,512 TDs this season. I don't need Aaron Rodgers out here bull driving on another retreat, uh, another retreat for darkness. I need you working with my receivers, man. What is you doing? Garrett Wilson, boy. Lock in, baby. Lock in. It's all on you. Some bullshit. That's some bullshit. That's, that's think, some bullshit. See, Ocho, <laughs> see, the thing is, people, I don't really do a whole lot of talking. I don't brag about I got these connects. I don't got that. All I know, I'm like E.F. Hutton. When I talk, y'all better listen. Yeah. Damn. I man. ain't gonna impute. I ain't gonna impute nobody's name. I'm not gonna say anything, and I don't be talking about my sources. I just be talking matter of factly. I don't want to say my sources tell me because I don't want to. Well, who said this? Because they know it. They know it. But anyway, we're gonna talk about it. We go. We gonna move on. That's Damn. about him. We. I, uh, the Jets fans, are uh, us. Jets fans, I'm, 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 I'm rocking with y'all. I'm riding with y'all. We gonna, we gonna be all right. We still got Garrett Wilson. Yeah, we, who we gonna got, throw in the ball? We got, we got, oh, Tyrod. Hey, we got, we got, got we got, we got Tyrod Taylor, huh? Mister, Mister Fashion himself, Mister Put that, Mister Put <laughs> yeah, that like shit Tyrod. on. What you talking yeah. about? We got Brees Hall. We brother Alan Lazard. Alan Lazard is wait, Alan Lazard. Yeah, he's still there. Yeah, we got Alan Lazard. What you talk about? A-Rod, you want to play? We'll turn that 12 to 21. You keep fucking around now. Shit. 